things. <laughs> Children, this is um, Mrs. Quickly. Oh, you mustn't start off on so formal a footing. You must call me Auntie Selma. Oh, dear me, one does work up such a thirst in this heat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, tea. Yes, of course. Do go through. I'll, um... And leave I'll... these dear creatures? <laughs> How can you ask it of me? Oh, the heart of the house. Yes, yes. The old bachelor's den. Mm, well, I... I Isn't I, um... it enchanting? Mm. Oh, you read all those books. Well, I, um... Never. I don't... Mm. Why don't you, um, take my chairs by far? The most Thank comfortable. you. Oh, but what have we here? I see there is already provision for a lady. How thoughtful you are. What a gentleman. Oh, uh, wait. Um, just let me make it um, comfy for you. Too, too precious. <coughs> Here in the centre of the male dominion, an oasis of feminine charm and elegance. Yeah, just as I thought. It's dusty. Just need, need to get on. Oh. Yeah. All clumped and ready to go. There you go again. Nothing is too much trouble for you. I remember observing upon that very characteristic on the Saturday we married Mr. Quickly. Oh. Even in the state of my demented grief, I said to my friend Miss Letitia Carter, you remember her, a pinker complexion than my own. She takes a little too much sun for her age. At any rate, I said, kindness seems to be second nature to him. He is a perfect gentleman. There's something so masculine and yet retiring in his manner, you could almost... <laughs> oh, look! You missed the crowd! Oh, 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 oh. I do beg your pardon. I don't know what came over me. I do. I understand. I never took you for such. But now I see it. Passion is clearly your nature, too. I feel it. Who would have thought we were such kindred spirits? Passion is my life. In fact, Mr. Brown, what is life without it? Uh, A grey wheel of habit spinning idly on. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is no time for food. Mrs. Quickly. Selma? No, I couldn't possibly swallow it under the circumstances. You're tempestuous, Mr. Brown. Tea? Yes, tea. We must blanket the raw impulse of that reliable beverage. <coughs> that was nice for a person. Spode? I could have spode. Tasteful. Anyway, so essential for upholding the norm. But uh, you don't want that. How right you are. You sinned my inmost self. What is tea when we can drink from the nectar of our emotions? <laughs> Let the common herd drink tea. Our souls need a more divine libation. <laughs> <laughs> You mad fool! I say, no, no, not here, my <laughs> cutlery. I say, let's <laughs> go. I want to leave my reputation in chapters on this rug. Love this rug, by the way. Which one is still? Must escape before all is lost. Wait! Betsy! <laughs> You are inflamed! How does a lonely widow hope to best you? What defense does she have? <laughs> All it takes is one of the questions, yes. Cedric, and I'm yours. I see. Ask me, ask me, or you'll lose much. me forever. Oh, no. Absolutely. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. No! No! This is too much, sir! <laughs> you are a cad. <laughs> a bandwagon. Coming.